Okay, so here's the deal with the Skidoo's throttle cables. This is the old one. It's looking pretty fucking beat up. And it uh, the cable snapped last year. My buddy gave it to me because he didn't want to get a new cable. So here's the new one I got online. And it's pretty different, but if you look closely, you can see that... What is it? This end... No, it's here. So here... All the way down to here is the same. This one, someone unscrewed that lower half of the cable and welded this little tab on here so that they could put it onto this little bolt here and run it down to the carburetor's throttle. And I don't feel like doing that kind of botchery, so I got a little figuring out to do to see how this new cable goes on, but we'll, we'll look at it once it's there. Okay, so, so the new throttle cable's on. Uh, it turns out I did have the wrong one, so I had to modify it a little. So goes on there obviously seats in this handle here goes through the cable hole but that's where it gets a little iffy so i did end up taking the second half off of this cable and just using the first half there was a hole in the engine block right there a little machined hole i stuffed it through there put it's uh put the other half of the adjustment fitting on the other side to hold it steady ran the cable straight down into the throttle and it seems to work I mean, I'm gonna do something better for a stopper here than rather than just shoving a screw into a cable. I'll figure something out there, but for now, this thing has a throttle and that's good enough to try to make it run. So that's next, see if this thing runs. All right, well, I just fired it up for the first time. It's not getting fuel to the carburetor, but it did fire on ether. And I figured that uh, may as well get it on video, right? So there it is all put back together, hoods on. I still haven't gotten a chance to take the skis off and paint them or anything, but for 1972, that thing's looking pretty good. Looks like we got our expert dog doing the inspect final inspection on it, good for her. But yeah, no tears in the seat somehow. The back plastics are all pretty good. The chrome is all still really clean on it. I do have to find that uh, cowl panel to cover up the carburetor, but yeah. Considering the age and how you know how little work I had to do to it, I think this thing looks great. So hopefully soon I can get that carb rebuilt, get that fuel issue fixed, and then uh, start riding it.